Hey, how y'all doing? I just like to talk to you for a minute about safety. You know, it's, everybody knows what safety is. A lot of people ignore it and think, ah, I'll be all right. But let me tell you, you don't always know the outcome of what everything's going to be. And sometimes accidents happen. Um, I'm okay. Nothing's happened to me. I got a new subscriber a few days ago, and uh, he's called his his channel's called uh, Buster's Travels. He's a he's an older gentleman, but he's uh, like a retired fabric fabricator, and uh, he had a accident involving a grinder. And uh, I'm gonna try to leave a link in the description to this if I can. If not, just just look up Buster's Travels on YouTube. You'll find it. You'll find his little safety video that he made. But he he had an accident with a grinder. Uh, he was doing some cleanup on a project, and uh, the grinder kicked back and hit him in the face. Just you know, bam. Uh, took a pretty good lick, and. Uh, I think he had a little little cut on his nose there or whatever and he kind of blowed it off and waited a week or so a week or two and uh and then he started losing movement in his right arm and shoulder and, and started dragging his leg around to walk and stuff and and uh ended up going to the hospital and uh i guess he had a a brain bleed and he nearly died you know, they had to do surgery on him and stuff, but check out his video. But the reason I'm making this video, because he made a point, you know, safety, you know, personal protective equipment, PPE, is very important. And uh, he he recommended using a grinding hood made by uh, Benchmark Abrasives. I'm not supported by them or not sponsored by them. So... But his video inspired me to order one. And I'm just going to show you what it is. Here it is right here. The grinder hood. Okay. Just a hood that is kind of similar to a welding hood. I'll break it out here and show you what it looks like. There it is, guys. It's super light. It's got good visibility. It's designed in the front to cover a uh, like a canister respirator if you need to. There you go. Don't look too terrible, does it? I mean, you can't even hardly tell it's on. It's really light. But uh, yeah, his video inspired me to buy one of these. And this is made by Benchmark, okay? They've got a, uh, a special on right now. This this thing costs like $39. Um, but they've got a, a, a deal when you order it. I'll show you right here. For fifty dollars, you get all these uh, different. These are flapper disc and a cutting disc. I think there's like five of those, and and there's like five of those and ten of these uh, flapper disc. And one of my favorite things that comes a really cool sticker. So yeah, I like stickers. But anyway, you know, if, if this could save somebody's life or prevent an injury, that's a good thing, right? 
and that's something you need to think about when you're out here working on projects like this and you're grinding and cutting and all the stuff you know you need to think about your safety nobody likes to get hurt nobody wants to die and don't think about yourself think about your family your friends you know your family mostly so yeah I ordered one of these not telling you you need to order one but you need to think about safety when you're working on this stuff take care of yourself and thanks for watching bye